Guys, welcome to a tutorial on how to send image links on WhatsApp automatically. So guys, in this video, I'll show you how to set up a simple automation by which you can send image links to specific contacts on WhatsApp automatically just by adding the contact details and image links in a row in Google spreadsheet. And guys, we are going to set up this automation without any coding super simply and if you are a business owner and want to automate your customer service or you are just someone who want to save time in sending images on WhatsApp, this automation video is for you. So stay tuned. Let's begin. To set up this automation, we are using Pavli Connect and it is an automation tool and this is the landing page of Pavli and from here you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. So you can just sign up right now and after that you have to sign in and you will see the dashboard of Pavli Connect application right here. And from here guys you have to click on this create workflow button to set up the workflow. Here you can give a suitable name as well. So I'm giving the name to this workflow as Google Sheets Image Links on WhatsApp. Okay, so after giving this name, just click on create button and you can see your workflow page started loading up here. And on this page, guys, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So our automations are based on these two, two things only. So trigger is that event which is going to start this workflow and the action would be the consequence or the automated response of the trigger. So here guys, you have to choose the trigger application first. So in our use case, adding of the contact details and media links in Google Sheets will act as a trigger for this workflow. So here we are going to search for Google Sheets application Okay, then you have to select the trigger event as new or updated spreadsheet row and it will give you this webhook URL. So with the help of this URL, we are going to create a connection with our spreadsheet and after that we are going to follow these steps, uh, sorry, uh, we are going to follow these steps to create this connection and after that we are going to capture the response of that connection. Okay, so uh, let me show you how to create this connection. So this is my spreadsheet guys. And in this spreadsheet, I am adding these details, the name of the person to whom I'm sending the message, the WhatsApp number of the person and an image link. Okay, so I have created this link using my WordPress account. So this media is uploaded on my WordPress website, you can get uh, these links from any other place as well. Okay. So first of all, guys, if you're using multiple Google accounts in the same browser, it is better to open the spreadsheet in incognito window so that you can create the connection properly. Okay, so I'm opening it here in incognito mode. And here guys, you have to click on this extensions button. And from here, click on add ons, then click on get add ons. And from this Google workspace marketplace window, you have to search for an add on which is called Pabli P A B B L Y Pabli connect webhooks, and you have to install it here. So it will be installed in just two minutes. Okay. And after installing this add on, you have to refresh the spreadsheet. This is an important step. Okay. And after refreshing the spreadsheet, when you click on extensions again, you will find the Pabli Connect Webhooks option available here in the drop down only. Okay. And from here, when you click on this initial setup, you will find this window. And here you will find two fields. First is the Webhook URL field, and the other is a trigger column field. So in this webhook URL field, you have to paste the URL that you got from your workflow. And in the trigger column, you have to mention the last data entry column or the final data column of your spreadsheet. So what does this final or the trigger column means? So here you can see guys, whenever I'm going to start adding the data in any row, I'll start from column A here, and then I'll fill the WhatsApp number in this cell. Then I come on this C column and here I'm going to finally put the image link. So as I'm going to put the image link here, that is going to trigger the workflow. So C column is our trigger column. Okay, right. So first of all, let me just copy the webhook URL that we have here in the workflow. So click on copy. And as you copy this, you will find that it will start waiting for the webhook connections response. 
This means uh, after creating the connection, we are going to uh, bring some data from the spreadsheet to here in this response section. And that will act as a test data for us, okay? So just go back to the spreadsheet, extensions, Pavli Connect Webhooks, initial setup. Okay, and here you can see a webhook URL is already pasted here. This is an old one. Let me remove this. And now let me paste a new one. Okay. And this trigger column is the same, the C column. Now uh, click on send test button to send the data from your spreadsheet to your workflow as the test data. So the first row that you have will be sent to your workflow as the test data. I am clicking on send test here. Okay. And here you can see test data sent successfully return here. Okay. Let's see in our workflow if we got the data captured. And here you can see guys, we got the data captured here. And in this data, you can see the WhatsApp number, the trigger column, the spreadsheets name, and here the name of the customer, the image link also. We got the data captured here like this. Okay. So now you can go back to the spreadsheet. And now you can click on submit here. And you can see the setup is configured. Now you can close this window and you have to do one last thing here. Click on extensions and from Pavli Connect Webhooks option, ch check this send on event option as well. So when you check this send on event option, whenever you are going to add any new row, that is going to trigger the workflow. Okay, right. Now open the workflow and now it is time to send a message to this person whose data we have captured as, a as the test data. For that, we are going to use this action step and here we are, we are going to connect with Interact application. So Interact is a WhatsApp business solution provider by which you can get the access of WhatsApp's API and send messages automatically. So here in this action event, you have to select the send WhatsApp template message option. So, and after selecting this event, click on connect here. And from here, select add new connection. And here it is asking for the secret API key of Interact application. And you will find it in the developer settings of Interact. Let me show you that. This is Interact application, guys. Here on the bottom left hand side, we have this settings option. Click on it. Under settings, just click on settings one more time. Okay, this is the settings page. Here we have this developer setting option. Click on it. Under developer setting, this is the secret key. So you just have to copy it, okay? And you have to paste it here in this field like this. Then click on save and you'll be connected with Interact application, okay? Right, so we are connected and here it is asking for the country code, the phone number, full phone number, template code. So here guys, you have to enter the country code of your country, then the phone number. But if you have the full phone number, you can place the full phone number along with the country code here only in this field and you can leave these fields blank. So guys, I have received the full phone number here. You can see like this in this WhatsApp number label. So I'm going to map this label here uh, in this field. But before that, you just have to click here and put a plus sign first because we don't have the plus sign in the data that we got here. Okay, so put a plus sign manually then click here and the trigger step will appear here in the drop down. And when you click on this Google Sheets, you will see all the data here only that we have received in the trigger. So from here, map the WhatsApp number label like this. Then it is asking for the template code name. So guys, to send automated messages, we need to create templates first. So templates are the pre-created message structures that you have to create in an interact application and get them approved. And after that, you can use those templates to send automated messages to multiple people. Okay. So here guys, you can see, let me show you an interact application, the template I'm using here. I am using this template. Let me show you here. You can see guys, this is a message template. I am using the name of the template is Republic day wishes. Okay. And here you can see in the header, we have a image attached here. Okay. So in the header, you can send a text, a video or document or an image, or if you want to leave it blank, you can select none. Okay. And here is the body of the message. May the bright colors of tricolor fill your life with patriotism and prosperity. This is a kind of wish for Republic Day, Indian Republic Day. Okay. And here in the footer, you can attach anything or this is the default footer given by 
interact application. You can add a call to action button as well in the same message. Okay, if you want to redirect your customers or your user on any website, you can have a CTA button here as well. So this is already approved to template. And here guys, you can see in this template body, we have this one and two in double curly braces. These are called the body variables or the placeholders of the message. And in these variables, you can place uh, the, like the name of the person to whom you are sending the message and the name of the person who is sending the message, okay? And these things are going to change with every message. So this is why these are called variables, okay? So first of all, it is asking for the template code name. So you just have to open the uh, template here like this. And on the top search bar guys, after this view slash, sorry, before this view slash and after this template slash, in between these two things, you will find the template code like this. This is the template code. So you just have to copy this template code and you have to paste it here in this field like this. Okay. Then you have to fill the language code. So language code is uh, English. So code of the English is EN. So you have to put EN here. You can read in the instructions as well. Okay. Code for English is EN. Code for English in US is EN underscore US. Okay. We are using general English. So I'm just putting EN. In the header value, you have to place the media link or the file link or the image link that you want to send on with this message. And we got this image link here in the trigger step from our Google Sheets. This is the image link. So I'm going to map this image link here in this field. So you just have to click here and from this last step, map the link like this, okay? Here is the body variables field. So guys, to get these variables, sorry, get these variables filled automatically with every new message, you need to map the values of these variables in this workflow in this field. And you have to put the variables value in comma separated form. Okay, so the first value here you can see is for the name of the person who is uh, to whom you are sending this message. So we got the name of the person here in this spreadsheet in the trigger. So just click here and from this Google Sheets step, map the name. Okay, then put a comma here. And let's see what is the next field. Best wishes from team dash on Republic Day. So here I'm just putting Pabli, okay, so it will become team Pabli, okay, so the things you are putting here manually are going to remain static, but the labels you are mapping here are going to change with every execution of this workflow. So whenever you are going to add any new row, the name of the person is going to change, okay, as well as the link of the image as well, because we have also mapped this. That's why it is necessary to map the data so that we can change the data with every new message, okay. Here it is asking for the position of call to action button. Right now we do not have any CTA button, but if you have any button, you can select the position. These are two positions, zero and one, so you can select it. If you have any website address that you want to attach in the CTA button, you can place the address here. All right. After that, you can check the connection with WhatsApp by clicking on save and send test request button and a test message will be sent to this WhatsApp number that you have mapped here. So this is not an original number, but I'll, I'm going to show you the demo of the message by putting my WhatsApp number here. Then we are going to click on save and send test request button. Okay. So guys, let's click on save and send test request button and a message will be delivered to my WhatsApp here. I'm going to show you the message. So this is the response we have received guys. Okay. And we are going to receive a message. Okay, so the message is here. Let me show you that. And here is the message you can see. And in this message, we have a image attached. Okay. And here you can see hello dummy name. So this is the same name I have mapped here in this variable field that got placed in the message in place of this body variables. So you can see in the message, the name is placed and the team pably is also placed. So this is how it is going to work guys. The image is here, the body variables are filled and we have received a message on WhatsApp. So 
this is how it is going to work and you have to set up this automation only once after that you don't have to do anything manually in this workflow after that whenever you are going to add any data of the contact and the image link on google sheets a uh, message will be delivered to that person on whatsapp automatically and guys you can use this workflow as well as i'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description you can clone it in your own free public connect account and you can start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel